Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, which I hope is a, a short one, this is a direct follow-up called an addendum or an amendment to the last video I did wherein I talked about digital modes for MCOM, and in that video I was talking about um, what role, if any, digital modes have with more official mainstream MCOM such as Ares and Skywarn. And I declared that analog was going to be your communication standard and digital modes, at least as they relate to HTs, really isn't a thing. And while that's true, that's only partially true. And I had a commenter point something out to me and he mentioned that, uh, you know, the, the Ares organization in his area was going to digital modes for things like Packet and Windlink, etc. Um, and, and on the HF side. So uh, it immediately reminded me that, yeah, we're doing that here in California as well. Um, and digital modes do, in fact, have quite a role, a, a rather a large role in MCON. My problem is, in my presentation, I tend to present or, or I, I tend to come at things from an angle of the man portable, individual, you know, boots on the ground side of the equation, uh, which would be, I guess, for lack of a better term, the tactical aspect of MCOM, even if it's Ares and, and Skywarn. Um, what I'm focusing on is gear for the people out there that are, you know, on foot in the area, interfacing with members of a served agency, and then passing that traffic back to net control. Once it gets to net control, we're now talking about the administration and command structure, uh, and thus the strategic element of MCOM. I'm not involved in that. That's not where my focus is. Um, and I, I have no part or role in that side of the mission, so it's not something I could even speak with any degree of authority on. Uh, I had some involvement with that side of Ares a few years back. It's one of the things that interested me quite a bit when I got into the club, but I'm not going to get into the details, but um, myself and um, some people within the actual command structure of Ares, we have creative differences. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, so I don't have any official role whatsoever in that. Although I do run a Skywarn net, I do that just for the value of learning how to run a net. I'm not interested in, in being involved in that part of the operation. So uh, again, it's a perspective thing. Um, but getting back to digital modes on that side of the equation, oh yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, particularly when you're talking about packet and, and WinLink, what you're talking about here is passing message traffic that's different from the way it's been done in the past. In the past, it's a very slow, laborious um, message transfer process. It's very time consuming, whereas using digital and using packet, uh, you basically send out what is in effect an email. And therefore, it's faster, it's more efficient and there's no ambiguity in the message because they have an actual hard copy of the message you sent on the other end once it's done. So digital modes are a thing, but again, it's just from my kind of oddball perspective. Um, I'm again focused on the man portable, boots on the ground side of the mission, and, and so I just wanted to clear that misunderstanding up. Uh, it isn't that digital doesn't have a role it's in, in MCOM, it's just on the personal side of things for the guys out there actually walking around doing stuff, Analog is going to be your thing just by virtue of the fact of how many people are going to show up and the different types of radios they might have. Everyone's going to have analog, whereas some people might have analog and DMR or analog and D-Star or analog and, and Fusion. So it's, it's not really a thing out there. But yet, once you pass that message traffic back to, back to net control, analog then does indeed become a big thing. So that's really all I wanted to do is throw that out there. And I'm going to move on to the next video where I'm going to talk about uh, kind of the more personal side of uh, emergency communications and talk about uh, setting up group comms under a digital standard and some of the stuff that you can do with that. So look forward to that being the next video. And then after that, I got some cool stuff. I'm going to do the VX6. Um, and yeah, yeah, it, it, it'll all make sense. So uh, with that, I'll go ahead and bring it to a close. This, I, like I said, I wanted to keep it short. So have a great day. This is uh, Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee in Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.